I'm John Pellerito, and I'm going to talk about the diagnosis and treatment of pseudoaneurysms and arteriovenous fistulas. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to describe the findings associated with these two entities that usually occur after femoral artery injuries. We'll talk a little bit about thrombin injection for treatment of pseudoaneurysms and some of the complications that can arise. And I'm going to finish up by showing some challenging cases. So most of you know that iatrogenic femoral artery injuries occur up to about 2% after procedures, and the incidence is related to use of larger catheters, more complex procedures, and the use of anticoagulation. Early diagnosis is obviously important to avoid potential complications. And some of those complications include hematoma, pseudoaneurysm, AV fistula, arterial dissection, and arterial thrombosis. And these things can then in turn cause local pain. You can have an uh, infection be related to the procedure. Obviously, you can have uh, nerve or venous compression, distal ischemia, and if you have a large AV fistula, the patient may have congestive heart failure. Now, most of you have seen pseudoaneurysms. You recognize these as vascular masses connected to the underlying artery, usually the femoral artery after a femoral puncture by a track or a neck. And again, this results from a hole in the wall from the procedure, which allows the escape of blood under pressure, which is then confined by the surrounding soft tissues and hematoma. Uh, 